Purdue professors and a Utah company have developed a new type of lie detector. Now, it works on the premise that deception is all in our eyes. Tonight, we show you how eye detect works and how it's about to be used here in Utah. The more truthful you appear, the less likely a lie will be detected. Carolyn Glasser is about to take on a new kind of lie detector. Good luck. She selects a number between two and nine and doesn't tell anyone. Then she's asked to answer questions truthfully, except when it comes to her number. That's when she's supposed to lie. Eight was not the number that I picked. As she tells the truth and tells that little lie, her eyes are being carefully analyzed. All that information is captured by the eye tracker, this infrared device here. Two is the number that I picked. And after a couple of minutes, she's done. We'll pull up the report. Todd Mickelson, the CEO of the company which makes this eye detect system, reveals her results. We determined that uh, Carolyn's number was eight. Carolyn then shows us her number and tells us how hard she tried to hide the lie. I remember trying to stay focused on the same, have the same emotion, the same feeling of false. Basically, I detect determined what her number was through her lying eyes. Lying is more difficult than telling the truth, and so because it's more difficult, you're going to see increases in pupil size. U of U educational psychology professor Dr. John Kircher helped develop the technology behind eye detect. When you have a stimulus that's perceived as a threat, your pupil dilates there as well. That's what the system is watching, the subtle changes in our eyes. It's a high-tech deception detection machine, and with this particular test, it's accurate 97% of the time. I mean, that's impossible. How do you how do you beat that? You tell the truth, you're just recalling memories about what you did, what happened. But lying, you're fabricating a story. You're it's more there's more mental work involved in lying. What's happening or what happens when people lie? In addition to that construction of the lie, you are monitoring my expression or the, the, your physiology to make sure that you're not reacting or it, there's a lot going on when you're lying during a lie detection test. Am I correct in saying that everybody basically lies? Yeah, that's true. We all lie. Yeah. It's very common. It's part of our social fabric. It's what keeps us together as a society. That might not matter when it's a little white lie. But what if it's dealing with something much more serious, like a candidate for a police position? We purchased it to start using it with our new recruit hiring classes. The Salt Lake City Police Department now has an eye detect system and has plans to put it into play at the end of November. We hope it'll be very valuable for the police department. Lieutenant Lamar Yule recently went through a demonstration like this. He says at first he was skeptical. Telling the truth or lying can be based on your eyes and your pupils and the pulsations of the blood vessels and the movement. You know, think, how is that possible? But after watching it spot the lie time after time, he became a believer. And this tool is very impressive in delving into those aspects of their lives that maybe they weren't quite as truthful with on their application process. And now the 30-year police veteran believes eye detect will help Salt Lake City Police weed out questionable candidates, which he says is good for the department and good for the public. And we think that we will have a better screen candidate who will be a better employee for the department for years to come. Now, U.S. law prohibits private companies from using lie detectors for jobs, but law enforcement and government agencies can use them. For more information on the technology and more on how to spot a liar on your own without any type of machine, check out this story at goodforutah.com.